Hey guys, it is Ryan. This will be my WrestleMania review on WrestleMania. Was WrestleMania good? I think there was more downs than ups. I was very disappointed. This is not a rant. This is my review on WrestleMania. Um, I called about half the matches myself, even with spoiler spoilers. Yeah, I know. So let's start off the night with the pre-show. I guessed Matt Hardy won the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royale. No one else is going to win it. I guessed uh, Cedric Alexander won the Cruiserweight title. I didn't guess Naomi winning. I think my pick was Bayley. Um, I don't know, even know if I had a pick for that match. Can't, can't even remember. Um, you know, it was going okay. WrestleMania was doing good. And then first match of the night, Rollins winning the Intercontinental title. Guys, no more Rollins, my boy. That was an awesome match. Um... And then, what was the next match? I can't even remember. I know... I can't remember what the next match was. Uh, Charlotte and Asuka was a good match. I wasn't expecting Charlotte to win. My pick was Asuka. Yeah. That was a good match. Um, the SmackDown Tag Team title match. No, that didn't live up to it. It was pretty much a squash match. Bludgeon Brothers just destroying everybody. That should have been an Usos and New Day match. Bludgeon Brothers should have not have been it. They should have came in after WrestleMania. Bad call for WWE, my opinion. <clears throat> I understand Bludgeon Brothers deserve to be tag team champions, but the way they handled that, no, that wasn't a good match. I'm sorry. Um, Nia, congratulations to Nia Jax. She was my pick for the woman, for the Raw Women's title. That was a good match. You know, a lot, you know, a lot happened. A lot happened tonight. I really, really disappointed. Um, I'm going to have to get to those big disappointments here in a minute. Um, Jinder Mahal won the United States title. Wasn't expecting, <clears throat> I was expecting either Bobby Roode to win it back or Rusev winning it because Rusev was going over at WrestleMania. That was another big disappointment for, from WWE. I really don't know who did this. I really don't. Um, who produced WrestleMania because it was a very big letdown. TakeOver was better than WrestleMania. I'm so sorry to say, it really was. <clears throat> um... Ronda Rousey and Angle match versus Triple H Stephanie McMahon. That was a good match. I liked it. I called Ronda Rousey and Kurt Angle. Uh, Daniel Bryan and Shane McMahon <clears throat> versus Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. I called Daniel Bryan and Shane McMahon. That was an okay match. Didn't really get hyped because, you know, it's Daniel Bryan. Daniel Bryan, it, I feel like he's going to have better matches this year. Um, AJ Styles and Shinsuke Nakamura. That was an okay match. I don't think, I think they could have done better. Um, Shinsuke Nakamura... Turning heel, that was a good call. That was a good call by the WWE for turning Shinsuke Nakamura heel. After that, I was hyped the whole night to see who Braun Strowman's tag team partner was going to be. Is it going to be Bobby Lashley, Rey Mysterio, Colin Cassidy, Samoa Joe? I'm like, okay, like someone's going to be returning. No. It's going to be some 8, 10-year-old Make-A-Wish kid. I am so sorry, but if it's getting to the point where these Make-A-Wish kids are just getting championships, then I don't want to watch wrestling because that's fucking stupid. Any person who is happy to see a 10-year-old kid win the tag title is fucking stupid. You guys are all idiots. Most stupidest thing WWE has ever fucking done was have a 10-year-old win a championship. That is the stupidest fucking thing ever. WWE, you had a huge opportunity to capitalize right there, and that was the stupidest fucking idea they could have ever done. I am disappointed in that. That 10-year-old kid does not deserve anything just because he's some sick make-a-wish kid or if he's something. That's the stupidest call that he has ever done. Oh, my God. I was let down. 
once again. I was let down. That was a big let down right there by WWE. The main event, Brock Lesnar vs. Roman Reigns. That was some intense. That was an intense match. Oh my god. Near the end, Brock Roman pouring blood, just straight pouring blood. It, oh my god, that's Roman Reigns straight pouring blood. Oh my god. Um, the finish, Brock Lesnar winning. I wasn't expecting that because as I have been reading and as I as I know, Brock Lesnar's contract expired right after his match. That's why he just booked it right out of there after the match. But I guess it's gonna bring tomorrow or Raw's ratings up. Um, I'm not sure what's gonna be happening. Uh, I I don't think that's a good call. I really don't. Having Brock Lesnar around once of a year is not good for business. Uh, I feel like they let all these Raw guys that are that have been Raw and Raw for the past year that could have potentially been Universal Champion like Samoa Joe or Braun Strowman, they should have been champion instead of Brock Lesnar. <laughs> Having Brock Lesnar around part-time is not good. All these part-timers need to go. Sorry, John Cena. Sorry, Undertaker. Sorry, Triple H. Sorry, Kurt Angle. A Brock Lesnar, you know, no more part timers. You can't be going off part timers. No more piggybacking off part timers. I mean, it's really ridiculous. Brock Lesnar is no more. He should not be in WWE anymore. He's going back to UFC, so screw him. Overall, WrestleMania was the only thing that I got excitement about was probably the Seth Rollins matches because I, I was happy to see Seth Rollins win the Intercontinental title. He's not a Grand Slam champion. But they, it was a very, very big letdown. WrestleMania was not at its potential as it usually is. You know, there's a lot of high caliber matches, and like Braun, they Braun Strowman should have won the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal match. They should have put that match in the main card and built that Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal match, and had someone like the Revival go up against the Bar and have the Revival win the tag titles, or have someone like Luke Gall Luke Gall Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson. You have so many tag teams on Raw that are potentially tag team contenders. It's really ridiculous, man. That's killing the value of some of these titles right now. They treated that Intercontinental title as it was the main title for months. That's why Roman Reigns is Intercontinental champion. I really thought Roman Reigns was going to be like the ultimate Grand Slam champion holding all these titles and then once again, WWE just throws a curveball. Why do they make a 10-year-old kid champion? Now it's literally in the history books, and that's that's the stupidest thing ever. God, man. A 10-year-old kid is champion, and I'm sitting here at home doing this stupid review video. Oh, my God. About WrestleMania. Of this kid. I don't care. But that kid is... Anyone who thought WrestleMania was good is fucking stupid. I'm sorry. Anyone who thought WrestleMania wasn't good, there you go. WrestleMania was not good. Some parts were. Other parts didn't deliver. Oh, I missed a match. Undertaker and John Cena. Wow, what a coincidence because of I forgot. Because it was a squash match. I didn't give a fuck about that match, honestly. They didn't need that match. They knew that. They just did it to send John Cena pack and John Cena no more. Undertaker no more. They're, those guys are done. I mean, people think, oh, it's not WrestleMania without the Undertaker. Fuck you guys for thinking it's not WrestleMania without the Undertaker. I understand Undertaker had a streak, but Undertaker's getting old. Undertaker doesn't have to be here every single year. Undertaker is a part-timer. They don't... Undertaker is taking a spot from one of the... from. That's why there were so many multi-man matches, because... Be, because of part-timers. Literally, they had John Cena... Undertaker, Triple H, Kurt Angle, and Brock Lesnar on the card. That could have been five other guys that is well deserved on the card. It's really ridiculous that they need to stop these part timers. It's been years that these part timers have been in the main event. No more part timers. They should just do away with that. You know, John Cena. You know, send his ass back. And I really would have. I would have rather saw Elias win the Universal Title than Brock Lesnar. Or Elias be Braun Strowman's tag partner. There was so many other guys they could have had be Braun Strowman's tag partner other than this 10-year-old kid. WrestleMania is a huge letdown. And whoever watches this, let me know your opinion because WrestleMania sucked.
Other than the few bits and pieces here and there, WrestleMania sucked. I'm so sorry. Take T NXT TakeOver was a lot better than WrestleMania. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time. Peace.